Okay, about the first 11 minutes of this is going to be uh, testing some uh, Edis equipment. In this case, uh, the B2 210, I believe it was, with uh, some different software that's included in Dragon OS LTS. And later on, I'll go into uh, some fixes I'm trying to roll into the next ISO, show some new software, and maybe just get some feedback because the, the problem I face is not actually having uh, access to a lot of these uh, software defined radios and I uh, obviously feel a little uncomfortable trying to release something without fully testing it and what I learned is in the uh, just this last ISO I did the uh, uh, public R2 build I didn't realize it but by adding the Edis uh, PPAs uh, for Ubuntu and pulling in the UHD uh, host and um, UHD host dev, I actually ended up with a mismatch. You can see there on the right hand side of the screen, uh, I fixed it for this video, but what was happening was is I had UHD host uh, 3, 3.0 or 3.10 essentially, uh, which is included with the GNU radio that I installed just the stock uh, from the Ubuntu repositories, but when I put the Edis PPA in there and pulled in, the intent was to pull in some SOAPI modules, uh, I pulled in UHD host and UHD host dev, which actually got me 3.13, but it, it essentially there was two different versions, and then so uh, the, uh, the downloader script for the Edis uh, images was pulling in a wrong version for the OHD host. So I got that sorted out and I found that uh, Edis equipment in my limited time with it uh, worked fine with uh, GQRX, uh, Universal Radio Hacker, a few of the other uh, programs that, uh, that don't really use SOAPI. What I couldn't figure out is uh, Oh, and you'll see there I was pointing out that the uh, sources.list.d directory, I had actually removed the Edis PPA. Well, actually, I had uninstalled UHD host and UHD host dev, deleted the PPA, updated, and then pulled back in the UHD host, which got me the correct uh, 3.10, which unfortunately is kind of old, obviously, but it, it at least got everything back to working. Uh, so the problem I have, though, is uh, anything that was using SOAPI modules, I, it, it seemed to be interacting with the, the device, uh, but I couldn't get anything to display. Uh, I didn't have the equipment long enough to find out later or, or to actually test to see if I just needed to change some of the settings. Uh, it seemed to sound like online with Cubic SDR, uh, changing some sample rate settings and so on and so forth would uh, get it working. I don't have the equipment to uh, confirm that. Uh, the other thing I'm really busy uh, trying to get working or trying to get working was the SRS LTE. I wanted to figure out how to actually be able to spin up and have uh, an LTE network and then uh, GSM, which GSM was, um, I don't know, was, uh, Yates, uh, Yates BTS and all that seemed to rely on an older QT4 and so I couldn't get that to working. So I ended up looking up uh, Osmo um, BSC or BCS, BSC. Uh, let's see. So you can see here I'm pulling up Cubic SDR, both the pre-installed version and then the uh, from source. And you can see the error that I found uh, in the back there. And it sounded, uh, that led me to uh, a post about uh, changing the sample rate settings and stuff. So if anyone else knows what that may uh, mean or what's causing that, uh, let me know. Or if you have uh, Edis equipment, and you could uh, let us know the settings uh, to get that to work on that older UHD host 
that would be greatly appreciated. All right, I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Uh, we can see that Edis does work in uh, most cases here. Uh, I wanted to show, so this is SRS LTE. I've now uh, included the, or built it from source as opposed to pulling it in from the PPA. So we'll have to get some more time with that. Let's see. Uh, last uh, here was Tempest trying out the B B210 with the Edis, or I'm sorry, the uh, uh, oh yeah, GR Tempest that was included. I've still yet to actually see video from a monitor, but that could just be something I'm doing, or I don't have the right kind of setup. But uh, that at least appeared to work. So, all right, now let's switch over and have a look at. If you have the public R2 build, you'll see in the Etsy apt sources.list.d, you've got the Edis research list there. You could clear out the key, you could remove that, uh, that list there, and then do Okay, so if you remove the UHD host, and you can see there it's removing that 3.14. I left the SOPI, I, I think that's fine, at least it still includes the SOPI uh, modules. And then if you And then you'll see it pulls in the 3.10 and then everything is uh, fine and back to normal with uh, UHD or I'm sorry the Edis equipment. Okay and then let's take a look. So this is what I'm hoping I can just put out there uh, for people to test and that then make a final build. I still have some things to do. This is running live. The username is live, no password. The installation is finished. Let's go ahead, I'll restart this. There's two additional things I changed. I changed the way that, uh, so when you make a user, I, I changed it uh, in the hopes that I can just add the Kismet group by default. Uh, okay, so that works, although it looks like it added uh, a few more uh, groups than what is normally added. I'll take a look at that. The other thing is I have to take a look. I tried to make a script to fix Liquid DSP automatically, just have it recompile on first boot uh, one time. So I'll take a look at my script there. Let's see. Uh, so now by default when you install it, everything should be back to normal with 
the correct UHD uh, you'll see that uh, I've included hack TV now uh, let's see let me take a look at the notes here I upgraded SDR Angel uh, fixed the UHD host recompiled RTL 433 for the SOAPI support removed the SRS LTE from the PPA and let's see added hack TV added retro retrogram I'll make sure it's about retrogram SOAPI SDR so if you look in the user source retro yep retrogram probably needs sudo let's see there we go okay so because I have it you sitting in the user source directory and um, but now we can see retrogram soapy SDR works the other thing that I'm trying to do for uh, GSM is Osmo BSC and you can see what this is uh, it used to be like a network in the box but now moving forward it's changed to modular pieces and this is what I've included uh, the BSC the HLR MSC STP the BTS TRX and then uh, my hope is to interface with the Lime SDR or the Edis equipment um, so hoping somebody out there can confirm it works there's a great uh, kind of walkthrough out there on the internet I'll, I'll find and post in the description anyone with a Lime SDR if they could follow and see if that works that would be great uh, that way we'd have both a GSM base station and then hopefully with the SRS LTE the uh, other side of it some additional things I guess uh, to do is uh, update the soapy SDR play and uh, if there's any other outstanding things I need to fix uh, just let me know or if there's something you'd like to see added but a lot of my time has been consumed by trying to understand and get both the uh, LTE and the GSM uh, base station up and running. All right.